I've got a fresh Studio 5000 program open, and I'm going to start by adding the EDS file for the NQ to the PLC software. Once this is done, I can create a new module and search for the NQ model being used. I'll give it a name and the correct IP address. And before I make the module, I want to change two of the module settings to avoid any issues down the road. I'm going to select a process data sizing of 32 in and 32 out, and I'm going to change the module data type to integer. Once I've made the changes, I'll press OK and create my module. With the module tags that were created, I can see the implicit messaging data between the NQ and the PLC. Although I can see the data, it isn't labeled, so I would need to use the NQ user's manual to figure out where within that input data to find the information I want, like the current value on an LRZ distance sensor. To organize and label the data, I recommend using our add-on instructions, which automatically sort IO-Link process data into individual tags for each port. To use our process data AOI, I need to import it from my computer. Once this is done, I can drag and drop the AOI into my main routine. I need to create new variables for each field of the AOI, except for the input data and output data, which will use the existing input and output tags from the NQ module. I want to be doubly sure I'm using the dot data tag for these two, otherwise the AOI will not work. Once this is done, I can finish making tags for each individual port on the NQ. Now that I'm done making tags, I'll go online and monitor port 5's data, which is where the LRZ is connected, and I'll make sure the value in the PLC's input data tag matches the value in the NQ software. Now is a good time to note that if a sensor's process data completely occupies a whole integer, like the LRZ's current process data structure, we will not need to move any bits around for the information to make sense. However, there are situations where the data only occupies part of an integer, in which case I'll need to move those bits around into their own separate integer for the information to make sense. I typically use BTD instructions to accomplish this. The instruction will move the 12 bits of distance information, starting at bit 4, into a new separate integer. Once this is done, the distance reading in the PLC matches up with the reading in the NQ software again. Alternatively, there are cases where the information, such as the amount of air that's gone through an FDG flow sensor, occupies multiple integers of data. In this case, I need to combine multiple integers into one double integer for the information to make sense. A useful tool is a process data setting in the port tab of the NQ software, which I would set to 32-bit conversion since I'm looking for data that takes up 32 bits. The process data automatically swaps the position of bytes to compensate for any differences in endianness between the PLC and the NQ. Now that I've combined my two integers into a double integer, I can see the correct accumulated flow of the FDG in my PLC.